welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Marche. if you are a returning subscriber so glad to see you back thank you so much for coming and stopping by we are doing a travel vlog this week so me and my boyfriend we just touched down in maui y'all and it is absolutely gorgeous here i will insert the room tour right after we get done talking but when i say it's absolutely stunning it's stunning i have to go and show y'all the open air like lobby is beautiful everything is gorgeous we got welcome with the lays um we did a service through the hotel where they came and picked us up from the airport so i didn't have to worry about that they had our names on cute little signs and all that stuff and then his lay is traditional it's like the men's lay so it's black it's just as beautiful as it smells i'm hungry now so i don't know what we're gonna eat but i know that i need to eat something all we had was the food that american airlines gave us on their flight it was weird it was a curry chicken sandwich but it had raisins in it i don't know i don't understand that why do y'all have to put raisins and stuff i don't get it they barely belong at oatmeal cookies let alone a chicken sandwich so ate most of that but still just was not good and then for the chips they had pea chips who wants a pea chip i don't know it literally tastes like a pea stalk so didn't love that but yeah i love our room love our location the only thing that i don't like is we are directly above the pool so with these door closed i can't hear anything but when we have the door open there's a lot of like kids playing and i want to hear the waves and that's about it i gotta get out these sweatpants it was cold back at home but it's hot here so i'll talk to y'all in just a little bit okay y'all we just got back to the room we went to this bar called kappa um bar or whatever whatever either way i came back to some champagne and some macaroons they try to get your girl lit and if y'all know me y'all know these are my favorite things ever so stop playing with me and then this i've never had it it's a brute so it might be a little bit on the less sweet side but i'm excited we're gonna try this out i wonder what flavor they are because the insides look kind of funny but yeah i don't know y'all it's looking it's looking real nappy real nappy like i'm tired from that first 10 hour trip down here i am pooped i'm ready See that spot? Call my name. <sighs> but the food was pretty good. I didn't finish my stuff. Um, my stomach was kind of hurting once I got my food. So I just took it back up here to the room. I got it. We got a little fridge in here. So we'll just put it in there. And then he got avocado toast. He didn't finish it either. Um, I think we just need to reset. And then once we wake back up and all that stuff will be have our appetite back and kind of be back on track because like right now it's 351 here but it's like would you say 10 o'clock mm -hmm. it's 10 o'clock back home so our clocks are just a little bit off like i feel like i should be winding down for bed right now which technically i should be but it beats being at work right now because that's where your girl would be on this good wednesday so may or may not take a nap i'm gonna let y'all know talk to y'all soon y'all it is the next day um it is super early here it's like six something but back home it would be i think 12 o'clock or something like that i don't know 
it's late at home so i'm up my body is still on that other clock <laughs> it's a b okay it left um we came out here today to try to watch the sunrise since my bodies are on my other time clock i'm just gonna watch this look y'all look at the ocean Honestly, it's literally not even doing it justice. It's so beautiful in person. Um, I think we're gonna catch the whole sunrise because as y'all said on the, the lawn, it's kind of starting that pinky look. So we haven't missed it yet. Um, and then it feels really good out here. I thought it would be a little bit on the chillier side since we're right by the ocean, but it's not. It's actually not bad at all. We'll probably go down to the beach today because we didn't go yesterday. We ended up passing out after we went out to eat and came back to the room. We went straight to sleep. There's people out here jogging and stuff already. So I'm glad that I chose Maui, y'all. I really am. Um, I was worried because I had booked this trip prior to the wildfires or the, the fires um that had happened so i was under the impression that we would have to cancel everything and move everything but sure enough our resort took care of us and they told us like yeah no you guys can still come because i called and everything after it happened because i didn't know what the devastation was so far i haven't seen any but that could be where i'm staying i'm staying in walea so i know that most of the fires and everything took place in lahaina um but yeah, nothing from our trip was moved around besides our parasailing. We were supposed to go parasailing on my actual birthday, but that excursion has been canceled. Something with the harbor, like they can't get down to the pier where they let the boats off. Something about the entire Maui, the piers and stuff are closed off. And it could be due to them trying to rebuild. So, because that was on the other side of the island, kind of near Lahaina. Um, top of... Mm, Kappa something beach. Kappa, Kappa Nali. I don't know. Something beach. So yeah, y'all. Let me um, turn y'all around and we'll watch the sunrise together. Oh, I didn't even see over there. Look over there. Again. Stunning. Cheers to 30. Okay, so there's actually a Starbucks on the resort. So I came here and I just got a pumpkin ice cream tea chai latte. Thank you very much. So it's pretty good. I had it at the airport too and it was really, really, really good. So I got it again. And then my boyfriend is just getting a black coffee with three sugars because he's a psychopath. So yeah. From here, we're probably just gonna get these and go right back to the room and kind of hang out for a couple of hours until it's time for the luau. The luau is at four o'clock. So I don't know, we'll see. And then we thought about going to the beach as well, so we might do that too. I don't know, but y'all know I'll pick y'all up, pick y'all with me wherever we end up going. y'all i'm just feeling super blessed right now and i was having a hard time with like turning 30 and everything like that just because it's such a big 
milestone um and i feel like i have so much that i'm still trying to do and i'm nowhere near like my end goals so sometimes that can cause me to be harder on myself than i should be so yeah this was like a roller coaster of emotions but right now i just feel very grateful and blessed to have made it here just want to thank jehovah for bringing me this far and never let me down I ask him to guide my steps all the time, y'all. And when I tell y'all he be guiding them, he be guiding them. This trip almost didn't happen because I thought he was trying to guide my steps away from it. Because first the fire, then our stuff got canceled, and then, like, flights was messed up for a while there. I was just like, if you don't want me to go, God, just say that. Just let me know, and I won't. We'll stay right on in Kansas City, Missouri and be happy. But here we are in Maui. couldn't ask for anything other than this y'all if i'm being so for real with y'all so i'll stop talking your head off and if you guys have ever been here been to maui let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that you've seen or your favorite activity that you did let me know We finally made it to the beach. It's gorgeous out here, y'all. The current keeps almost slipping me away, I will say that. This uh, tide is strong. You gotta be extra careful, because it will pull you out. As soon as we came out here, his flip-flops got stuck into the ocean, y'all. So we had to wait until they came back for us to go try to get them. But it is beautiful. I'm just sitting here getting our feet wet. I brought my sweater, but I ended up putting that back in my bag, y'all. It's way too hot for that. It's gorgeous out here today. So we'll probably do this for the next couple hours or so. And then I'll check back with y'all in the room. All right, y'all. So I am rushing out of the door, but this is what I put on for today. It is for, I don't have my watch on, but it's like 419, 420. And the, um... It starts at, we're going to a little while, it starts at 4.30, so I gotta hurry up and get out of here. Here's a better look at the outfit. And I just got on these little yellow slides. The dress that I had on was not a winner. I tried it on and it just was way too revealing for what it was. Like, I had to keep adjusting the bra, the top part, and then I just felt like I wasn't gonna be comfortable. I was literally gonna be worried about it the entire time, so I ended up just taking it off putting this on i feel a lot more comfortable and then the next two nights i really like both of my dresses so i'm not putting no makeup on today um tomorrow i'm getting real fine real 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 fine so don't even worry about it but let's hurry up let's go to this luau and yeah let's have a good time To generation. However, the Tao or Polynesian tattoo held many significant. Thank you. 
the east side of Maui, the place called Waikaloa. Waikaloa is an area right next to Hana Bay. Good morning, y'all. Last time y'all seen me was at the Luau. I had a really good time. The food was really good. The music was really good. I think my favorite part was probably the fire dancers or the hula girls. I thought they all did a really good job. But the fire dancers, that's, that was next level. Um, I don't know. I woke up just kind of feeling down today. So I am not in the best of moods. And I'm not fitting it on this camera and play with y'all. I act like I am. Um, I'm hoping that that changes. I We are getting ready to go to our spa appointment. For a couple's massages, a 90 minute couple massage, and this spa is supposed to be like world renowned. It's in this hotel, and then also another one right down the road. So it's like a five star spa. Um, I had to book our reservations pretty far in advance to make sure that we would have a spot. So, yeah, I will just talk to y'all when I'm in a little bit of a better mood. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, sometimes we cry, but I guess you don't know. Got the girl in the cut, she choose a pop going up on a Tuesday. Got the girl in the cut, she choose a pop going up on a Tuesday. Got the girl in the cut, she choose a squad going up. Nobody flipping packs now. I just did three in a row. Them shows is back to back to back now. Put the world on a sound. You know, party in the weekend. Ain't got no motherfucking time. Party on the weekend. Tell Jello, bring a juice. We about to get lit. Fill the room up with some things. One night open, this is, this is it Always working on the team Overtime and not on time She is crazy back home It kills me that I'm not alone I think we getting too deep Shit I'm talking might be too true Alright y'all, so it is much later in the day The massage, when I tell y'all it was 12 out of 10 It was so good um, she got all the way up here, which is like my concern area. That's where I always have like knots and pain and stuff. And usually when I tell people it's my neck, they always want to stop right here. But no, nah, sis, sis did that. She really got way up there. And then the pressure was perfect. We did the traditional, I think it was called the Lani massage, which is traditional to the Hawaiian culture. So it's like nice long strokes. Um, I think she said medium to firm pressure, but not as firm as like a deep tissue massage would be. So now we have reservations at Roof Chris. Um, this will be my first time here because we don't have one of these in town. We done took a little nap and everything y'all. So yeah, bear with me. But I am um, just gonna do like a light beat. I actually have not taken any pictures since I've been out here. So, so I was like, let me get my butt up and make sure that I look the part for tonight at least. Cause the girl been slacking. Really, we just haven't been doing no activities that require makeup like the luau. I definitely could have went ahead and um, took pictures yesterday, but I didn't do no makeup. So it was like, I just didn't, wasn't in the headspace to be taking pictures. And plus I really want to enjoy myself too. Like, I don't know, I didn't want it to be so, you have to do this at this time and this at this time, like, mm -mm. The trip has actually been amazing, guys. We've had a couple hiccups along the way, nothing honestly worth mentioning, which is why, like, earlier when I came on camera and I was irritated, I briefly touched over it and moved on because literally that's where we are. <laughs> I don't have time to be going and you know back and forth about things that don't matter it's my birthday it's my 30th birthday and yeah i'm gonna enjoy myself so anyways we gonna do a quick little bdb i'm looking for i don't think i left my hair gel y'all i like to slick my hairs in place with just a good old regular gotcha oh no i brought some hold on 
I brought it in my other bag. Hold on. Now, I will say it's the yellow one. I have actually never used the yellow one. I got this one because I was seeing good things about it. Um, but I probably shouldn't have brought this for makeup because I think it turned white. I definitely was getting it for my real hair. So I'm just going to use a little bit and hope for the best. I did go ahead and um, just kind of trim my eyebrows into place earlier today with just my regular old uh, thingy, like my eyebrow trimmer thing. I didn't go get them done or anything like that. I haven't got my my eyebrows done in years. I just do it myself. Hope for the best. Now, also, I feel like most shops always take more off than what I want. So to stop that process, I just started doing it myself because I like a little fluff in the middle. Um, some people don't like that, but I do. I think it looks very natural uh, and that's just my natural eyebrow shape. I used to try to like wax and shape my eyebrows for, to something other than my eyebrow shape, but I've grown to really like it. So I just stick with it. We're gonna let this dry. It already feels a little bit weird, like like it's getting hard. But yeah. I am going to go ahead and put this face on. I'm trying to decide if I want to just have y'all recording or what. I think I am. I think I'm gonna show y'all my quick little makeup process and little tidbits and maybe I'll even speed it up because I know a lot of people that already follow me don't need this tutorial because y'all see me do my makeup all the time but for the new people that may be here for this video i'm gonna go ahead and do that for y'all so if you want to see it stick around if not fast forward to the next scene when you see me with my makeup on makeup spray hope for the best because I usually do quite a bit of primer I do two different primers I don't know how I ended up leaving both of them I even made like checklists and everything I went through everything before I left and felt like I had everything but apparently I did not check good enough Foundation looking a little light, y'all. That means I'm out here getting a tan. Love that for me. Right, y'all, we're gonna take a quick pause break, and I'm going to do something with these edges really quick. That's why I had bought the yellow got to be because I wanted to try it out for that. I just want to use a little bit just to kind of get it going to where it needs to go without doing too much. So like literally the teeny tiniest amount. Shot it right for me. Just gonna blend this part in. And I didn't do anything to my forehead yet because then I'm like, okay, we need to do this little, little slicky honey first before I put any products on my forehead. Okay, so I'm going to take my little edge brushes and knowing y'all literally bought it right before I left. So I'm hoping that it works. Right. I'm 
my bed. I'm going to feel a little desperate. Send a nigga text message, girl. This is how I feel. I'm here to love. This is what I feel. Give the brain like graduated from a good school. I'm a good move. Shit, do it. It's like, like, what? Man, I'll be for real. This is how I feel. I need a love. Yeah. Ooh, you just want to say everything's alright, alright. Let's give a battle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just want to. You don't want to lean on. Every single set you don't have a like a mask got. Watch the fucking raw strap pop. So the nigga hit the jackpot, I'm saying. It's all crazy. It's like crazy, yeah. I know. Keep going. Press the process. While I've been out here, everybody been asking me, like, what's the occasion? What are you doing out in Maui? And everything in me want to just say, Bowling is the motherfucking occasion. How about that? But I haven't tried. I've been telling them what's going on and why I'm here and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Tomorrow, I really want to try to get on the water slide. I've been trying to do that since I've been here. Um, and tomorrow's, like, really my last day to do it. So, we are going to go check that out no matter what is going on. We're going to the pool, which we've been saying that already, like we're going to the pool our last day. Um, but yeah, because tomorrow is our private dinner where it's just going to be me and him. Um, and we got the whole thing to ourselves. So I am super excited about that. <laughs> Park. Your new Nordstrom Rack Store is now open at Overland Park Crossing. Save up to 
brand new the makeup is done. I'm gonna put on a little bit of highlighter because I forgot to do that. But I need to hurry up and throw this dress on. And I'll pick y'all back up once everything is complete. This is the final look. I am about to spray on some juicy apple from who's this? Kayali. That is the fragrance of the day. All right, time I'm about to try to take some pictures and we are headed out. I'll pick y'all up when we get to the restaurant. Right, so it is actually a brand new day today. I figured I have not showed you guys the full resort. So I'm gonna take you to the front and show you what the resort looks like, like when you're walking in and show you guys around the different, you know, areas and stuff like that. It's super cute. Today we just have another spa appointment. I have a facial um, in a couple hours. And then after that, we just have our private dinner. So, excited. But let me show you guys the resort. Think I'm my problem, just break out the bottle and fuck on them out again. Out of my this now the carnival, this is a royal old cardi here. Don Perry, and I get done from a grown, I can show for the round. I pull up with my rounds, I pull up out of town. I corrupt the your town with them girls and them pounds. I grew up on the grounds with them pillars of hell. We bought them more bottles and fuck on more models and pass them around. I say everything triple time. Roll it AP, you blow triple time. I just know the ones to call upon. I just had to pay my dog a bond. Looking at me like a triple threat. Every time a nigga talk a check, smoke the cushion like a cigarette. Run it back to hear my inner lick. Celebrate like the championship. Celebrate like the championship. Celebrate like the championship. Pour it out, pour it out, pour it out. Alright, so we are headed over to the um shops it's like a little outdoor shopping center thing so we're getting ready to head over here and then i'm looking really for like a shot glass something that i can pack into my bag um without taking like a whole bunch of space up so hopefully we find that and then once i get back i'm gonna show y'all this piece of art that i bought from one of the vendors at the hotel he has like one of those little table things so it's like a little booth it's literally wood carved into a harp it's unlike anything else that i have seen so that's why i picked it up but yeah man it's lit we about to finish out this last day y'all i'm getting kind of sad that we going home tomorrow but i'm ready to see my son and for those of y'all who don't know my son is diesel that's my dog <laughs> all right let's go wish me luck on this shot glass journey Okay, so we got an Italian ice. I'm gonna try it out. What you want some shoes? Jimmy Choo, what I hand back to? Red up, baby, boo, she get to smile. She ain't so good. It tastes like, I don't know, fruit ice cream. I mochi for the first time. I don't know what it is. Y'all saying wrong? Mochi. Mochi. Plus his neck and icy and it matches Rick's night. It's like 
six. Told her hit his phone. Meet her in a whip, but he ain't go. But he ain't that slow. Say meet him at the store. I'm like, cool. I don't know, y'all. It tastes like gelatin. Is what that tastes like. So I could do without the mochi. But I do love everything else. It's really good. Okay, not me leaving my camera in one of those stores, y'all. The first store I went into, I left my camera in there. So, these are the shot glasses I got. I got this one. This says Aloha on it, and I think it's so cute. I'm probably going to end up keeping this one for myself. And then I got this one for my best friend, Coco. I thought this one was cute too. It's Aloha tall glass with a little hula skirt on it. I thought this one was super cute. Tell me which one y'all like better in the comments. The regular Aloha or the hula skirt Aloha. The reason I said I probably end up keeping the shorter one is because most of my shot glasses are short. And eventually I want to put them like up somewhere in my house. And then I got this for my aunt. It's just a bottle opener magnet. So I thought this was real cute with the little Hawaiian lady on it. Kind of reflective. And then I got a hair flower. And this was the biggest purchase that I made while I was down here, y'all. But I think it's so worth it. Um, I met a Rasta man down here. And he sells things on our resorts. But he hand makes all of these. There was another lady that I was going to support. Um, but she was wanting 165 for her jewelry. And I'm not doing it. I'm not paying. No, it was $265. She wanted $265 for a necklace. And I'm like, yeah, no ma'am. No ma'am, it's beautiful, but no ma'am. He charged me $175 for this. And he said most of the ones this size are that price. I hate to open this because he taped it up so well. But that's how y'all know I love y'all. Oh. So I thought this signifies this is the perfect symbolism for my Maui trip love i thought this was beautiful i cannot wait to hang this up in my house um he even put maui 2023 in a little thing for us to just hang it up as soon as we get home i thought this was so cute i am the most excited about this but yeah 175 for this all hand carved he said that this took him about two hours to make uh you can even see like the little sun up there or the moon however you want to look at it but you got the ocean and the little island in the back i think it's stunning I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then the final thing that I got is this Maui t-shirt. I got the last small in the store. I really wanted a medium, but I think these are men's sizes, so it works. Maui, Hawaii, Aloha State. Yeah, I love everything that I got. Now I just have to try to figure it out because my luggage was already three pounds overweight when we came here. But the lady at the American Airlines thing didn't say nothing, so shout out to her. This is the lady, y'all, that was trying to get me to buy that thing. She do um, jazz as well. Very talented. If y'all got it, spend it. But I ain't got 265 for a necklace. No, ma'am. But alrighty, um, we are headed to our facial appointment. So I'll pick y'all up afterwards like y'all know how it was. Y'all already seen the spa yesterday, so I'm probably just going to leave y'all here. One less thing to carry. And yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit.
so we are dressed for dinner tonight this is the private dinner um this is what i was looking the most forward to just because it was going to be me and him very personal and i love that so now let me show you guys the dress real quick before i put on my here i'm gonna show you how to dress afterwards let me put on lotion this is gonna be my first time trying the fancy butter drop let's put some of this on just on our arms i'm not putting anything on my legs because why would i and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of this oil so far i don't like that this dress keeps flipping down right here so i'm gonna pull it down a little bit and see if it's just up too high take this scrunchie off put this like here and let's hope it doesn't do that again but here's the dress y'all and i am just gonna put on some flat boot i mean some flat black sandals with this this is the look so cute but i have to hurry up and get out of here because our dinner is starting in a couple minutes literally <laughs> so i want to get over there we paid a lot of money for this so i really don't want to miss any of it i'll pick y'all up once we get over there Maui onion puree. This looks like that that we had at the Luau. Mm -hmm. mm. That onion puree is good. my dog but like I'm really sad it's been beautiful here like the people are great everything the atmosphere the staff everything was amazing last night when we got back to the room um as y'all see we went to that five course six course private dinner it was beautiful um my favorite course of all of it was the wagyu so good so good so good it's like a special way that they prepare steak a special way that the steak is raised so it's supposed to be like a stress-free cow, literally. So when you eat it, the beef is supposed to be bomb. So yeah, that was my favorite meal. So after that, we ended up walking around, like just looking at the campus one last time, um, enjoying the view. We went like by the beach line, just kind of looked at that, listened to the water, just crashing against the rocks. It was amazing. Pitch black out there, but amazing. They do have like the, it's lighted. But then when you're looking out into the ocean, it's so dark out there. Um, kind of scary when you think about it. But yeah, we had an amazing time. I think my favorite thing that we did was by far the luau because you got to learn a little bit about their culture. But then also you got to taste like a smorgasbord of food. It was like a buffet style. So not only did you get to see them dancing and performing um, of the dancing and everything, my favorite was the fire dancers. I thought that was insane. The fact that you can toss fire back and forth and stuff like that so if you are ever looking for a tropical vacation maui is your go-to and i stayed at the marriott um what is it called the walea beach resort marriott by marriott bomb it's a four-star hotel but the service some of the best service that i've ever had i thought 
last night that's how i was telling y'all when we got back to the room after walking around we had worked up another appetite so we had our ruth chris from a couple nights before we called him and like do you guys have a microwave on the campus and like yeah mahola we're gonna bring it up to you My, i think mahola means thank you so we like oh okay they bought us the whole microwave y'all so we got to heat up our little steaks or whatever but yeah trip 12 out of 10 i would definitely be back maui is definitely on my comeback to list after i make my way to other places like i don't want to keep coming back to the same place y'all know i already do that enough with houston so yeah i would say um it's perfect for families y'all seen they had the slide uh i don't know i think i had to insert some regular clips of me going down that slide so freaking fast the first one was fine the open face one but the closed face one so fast i couldn't even catch my breath when i was coming down it and then right into the water y'all gonna see the clips probably way before this but yeah so i would say it's been great um but unfortunately all good things must come to an end we are completely packed up just waiting on our ride it is oh lord my watch is still connected to the other time hold on let me get my phone it is 529 and our ride is supposed to be here at 545 so i have my things are charging like my laptop and my ipad are charging so i will have those for the plane ride but other than that all my other devices are pretty much charged up i don't have an appetite yet so i'll probably just eat once we get to the airport or after our first layover where is our layover this time the last time it was in dallas so let's see on the way home which this flight was supposed to be shorter this flight was nine hours not the flight back home is gonna be nine hours 40 minutes total so on time okay so yeah we're going to las vegas we will be on that plane from 7 45 to 4 25 p.m and then we're have a little bit of a layover and we leave again so about an hour layover then we leave at 5 45 p.m and we'll make it home by 10 25 p.m so far it's saying both of our planes are on time this first one starts boarding at 705 so yeah we got plenty of time y'all i've never been through clearance here so i don't know how long that's gonna take i will say it's an older airport um so i don't know we'll see we'll see what it's like flying out and flying out on a Sunday, I'm hoping that's a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, if you made it this far in the vlog, thank you so much. I truly appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for 1,200 subscribers. I cannot believe how fast we are going. It's been a year. And I am so grateful to each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all so much. Y'all literally blow my mind every week. So thank y'all. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. But I'm taking all the shots now. If you try to bring me down, I get in my